Hey everyone, welcome to Crafty Friday. In this episode, I'm going to teach you how to make a duct tape pencil pouch. This guy can hold all of your pencils and colorful markers and pens. It has a ziplock closure so you can hold it upside down like a Dairy Queen blizzard. Isn't that cool when they do that? And you can open it back up again and again. P.S. Be sure to check out my trifold wallet tutorial if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's get to it. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a cutting board that I got from Walmart, a patterned roll of duct tape, two solid colored rolls of duct tape, some Ziploc bags, I got 40 in this pack, a ruler, a pair of scissors, and an X-Acto knife. You can make your pencil pouch virtually any size that you would like to, but the one I'm making is gonna be about eight inches by five inches. You're going to start by grabbing a Ziploc bag and you're going to trim the zipper off of that. And I'm also trimming off the little pink and blue ridges on top of the zipper as well. All you want to keep is the actual Ziploc part and make sure that there's a little bit of plastic on each side so you can attach tape to that. Now I'm going to take the roll of duct tape that I want to show on the outside of my pencil pouch. I'm going to cut six strips of this tape that are each about nine inches long. I'm making my strips longer than 8 inches right now so I can trim it once they're all attached. Now trim the ends off of your piece of Ziploc so you can pull it apart. Grab one half of the Ziploc and a strip of tape. You want the zipper to be face up and then I'm placing the strip of tape as straight as I can right above that zipper. Take that entire thing and flip it over. Then you're going to fold the tape down onto the other side. Now your piece will look like this and you're going to repeat this exact same thing on the other half of the Ziploc. Take one taped Ziploc piece, you're going to flip it to the side where you cannot see the zipper and then you're going to lay a piece of duct tape down onto that, overlap it very slightly and then add the second piece to that one with a very slight overlap. Depending on your pattern you may have to spend a little time lining it up. And I repeated this step with the other piece of Ziploc, just adding those two pieces of tape with a slight overlap to make a duct tape sheet. I cut three 9 inch strips of orange tape and I attached them to the inside of this duct tape sheet. I also cut three 9 inch strips of this green tape and I'm going to show you how to attach them to the inside here. So you're going to take this duct tape panel sticky side up. Then lay a piece of tape as close to the zipper as you can without actually covering the zipper. Take the next piece and do a slight overlap on the piece that you just stuck on. You can see that you don't actually need this whole third strip to cover the remaining sticky part. So if you want to cut it in half you can, just to save tape. Then attach that strip or half strip to cover up the remaining sticky parts. Then it will look like this. So you can leave a little bit of sticky hanging over on the front of your pencil pouch. So I just left a little bit of an overlap there. And the same with the green. If you decide to trim all of the sticky off and have really even bottoms, then you'll be left with this little strip at the bottom. That is sticky tape, but it won't stick to any of your pens or pencils. To eliminate that sticky strip, take this piece and just lay it on top of this one. Then you'll want to fold that in half and make sure that your Ziploc lines up. If not, you'll have to do some tweaking. And then for your panel on this side, you'll have a little sticky piece in the middle. Before we join our ends together and put the trim on the bottom, we're going to trim down this pouch so it's actually 8 inches across or whatever length that you want it to be. Trimming it will get rid of all these uneven edges. So I just cut this edge off by using a ruler and an X-Acto knife. And then I'm going to make sure that when I cut off this edge, it's exactly at the 8 inch mark and there is a siren outside. Now that I have my pouch at 8 inches, I'm going to connect the zip block at the top. Then cut a piece of tape that's exactly the same length as your pouch. Mine's 8 inches, as I've mentioned. So I just stuck that strip on the bottom of the pouch and then I'm going to fold it over to the other side. I'm trimming off this little piece that hangs over. My pouch is just a little bit over five inches, maybe five and one fourth. So I'm going to cut a strip of duct tape that's about five and one fourth inches long. Then I'm going to cut this strip in half the long way. Finally, I'm putting this on the end to seal it up. And then, of course, flip it over and, and fold this over. Finally, I laid this piece on the other end. 
and I'm going to fold this tape over and stick it down. Now you have your very own Ziploc pencil pouch. Be sure to share a picture with me on Instagram, hashtag SoCraftastic, if you make one of your own. The inside of mine has lime green on one side and neon orange on the other. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Last week on Crafty Friday, I showed you guys how to turn paint samples into cool and creative bookmarks. This is a really inexpensive craft and a great way to use those paint samples that you can get for free from many different stores. So here I'm showing you photos that people sent to me on Instagram, hashtag SoCraftastic, and Twitter, and Facebook as well. And there are so many different colorful and creative designs here, so many different quotes and different shapes and sizes and sticker shapes that's just so cool thank you guys for sending those photos in if you guys would like to be featured in an upcoming crafty friday video then send your photos here to these usernames of mine hashtag so craftastic on instagram i'll be showing your handmade pencil pouches in my next crafty friday video p.s i have a hair tutorial on my sarah Lynn fashion channel for how to get an upside down side braid bun like mine Remember to please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already because I put out new videos every single Friday for Crafty Friday and I also put out crafty videos throughout the week sometimes. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and I will see you soon. Bye! Oh my gosh, I just thought of the Brady Bunch when looking at my braid. The taped zip zip lot. I cannot say this. I'm going to make my braid fall out. Oh my gosh, I hate when it gets stuck. Ah. Take one half of the tape to li zip lip lock. <laughs> lip lock, kiss kiss, smooch smooch. Um, all right, I didn't mean to say that. All right, that's the end, cut.